I'm going to raise this because the story should never uh, be about us. We're there to cover it. But then I saw this on all the cable news networks tonight, and it involves um, Katie Turr. Lyndon Johnson famously said to be in politics, you need the hide of a rhinoceros. He was talking about having your name on the ballot as a politician and not as someone covering the race. Donald Trump went there again on name checking Katie Turr from the podium. Here is uh, the part we've chosen to share with you before we talk to Katie. We have two more today in Florida and we have massive crowds. There's something happening. They're not reporting it. Katie, you're not reporting it, Katie. But there's something happening, Katie. There's something happening, Katie. Um, the crowd broke into a rather unsavory chant after that. Uh, Katie, uh, w what is it like to have that on top of covering a traveling campaign? Well, I do have the height of a rhinoceros, so that helps. Um, <laughs> it, let, let me tell you, it's been a, a wild ride for a, about a year and a half, and it is a unique experience to have an entire uh, crowd of people, whether it is a open air venue like we were today or a stadium with 10 plus thousand people uh, uh, booing you. And it's especially unique when they're actually saying your name and looking directly at you. Uh, and that's what happened today. Uh, that being said, Donald Trump was complaining about this uh, idea that he has that the press doesn't show his crowds, which is just factually untrue. Uh, the cameras that are there, there's a number of cameras. He sees them all. Oftentimes when he's playing to the camera and saying we don't move our cameras to show these crowds. The cameras are all looking in opposite directions showing the crowds. And not to mention we are penned in. Uh, the campaign doesn't allow the cameras to even leave to go get more uh, crowd pictures. Uh, we also have Jacob Rascone who talks to voters on a daily basis, Trump voters on a daily basis, up and down crowds on MSNBC all day long. Uh, so the idea that we're not showing this movement is just uh, factually incorrect. Uh, Donald Trump also does know this to be incorrect. Correct. He's joked in private with reporters uh, about how he understands how the pool camera works. And Brian, I don't need to explain it to you, but I'll explain it to our audience. The pool camera is one camera that sits in the middle of the press area and it shoots the candidate and it stays on the candidate at all times because we're trying to get what the candidate says and it goes out to all of the networks. That camera is stationary. It is never supposed to move. The rest of the networks have their own cameras that move all the time and show their feeds alongside that pool camera. And Donald Trump has joked in private because he is a man who does entertainment for a living. He understands how it works, or he used to at least. Uh, he understands the production quality of this. And he's joked about how he knows how a pool camera works. So uh, this is a shtick that he does. It's uh, to rot to rile up his base. It's to uh, give them an excuse for polls that might not be in his favor. It's to give them an excuse to uh, berate somebody other than Donald Trump and to blame somebody for something that doesn't look as good as they uh, want it to look. Nicole. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.